Yechezkel, Ezekiel 10. Then I looked, and behold, in the firmament that was above the head of the Karavim, there appeared over them, as it were, a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. And he spoke unto the man, clothed with linen, and said, Go in between the wheels, even under the karev, rather, karuv, and fill your hand with coals of fire from between the karuvim, and scatter them over the city. And he went in in my sight. Now the karuvim stood on the right side of the house when the man went in, and the cloud filled at the inner court. Then the glory of Yahuwah went up from the karuv, and stood over the threshold of the house. And the house was filled eth with the cloud, and the court was full eth of the brightness of Yahuwah's glory. And the sound of the Kuruvim's wings was heard even to the outer court, as the voice of El Shaddai when he speaks. And it came to pass, that when he had commanded at the man, clothed with linen, saying, Take fire from between the wheels, from between the karavim. Then he went in and stood beside the wheels. And one karuv stretched forth at his hand from between the karavim unto the fire that was between the karavim, and took thereof and put it into the hands of him that was clothed with linen, who took it and went out. And there appeared in the Keravim the form of a man's hand under their wings. And when I looked, behold, the four wheels by the Keravim, one wheel by one Karuv, and another wheel by another Karuv. And the appearance of the wheels was as the color of a barrel stone. And as for the appearances, they four had one likeness, as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides. They turned not as they went, but to the place whither the head looked, they followed it. They turned not as they went. And their whole body and their backs and their hands and their wings and the wheels were full of eyes round about, even the wheels that they forehad. As for the wheels, it was cried unto them in my hearing, O wheel! And every one had four faces. The first face was the face of a karuv, and the second face was the face of a man, and the third the face of a lion, and the fourth the face of an angel. And the Kurovim were lifted up. This is the living creature that I saw by the river of Kivar. And when the Kurovim went, the wheels went by them. And when the Kurovim lifted up at their wings to mount up from the earth, these same wheels also turned not from beside them. When they stood, they stood. And when they were lifted up, these lifted up themselves also, for the Ruach of the living creature was in them. Then the glory of Yahuwah departed from off the threshold of the house and stood over the Keravim. And the Keravim lifted up at their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight. When they went out, the wheels also were beside them. And every one stood at the door of the east gate of Yahuwah's house. And the glory of the Elohai of Yashadael was over them above. This is the living creature that I saw under the Elohim of Yashadael by the river of Kivar. And I knew that they were the Karovim. Every one had four faces apiece, and every one four wings, 
and the likeness of the hands of a man was under their wings, and the likeness of their faces was the same faces which I saw by the river of Kivar. Their appearances and themselves, they went every one straight forward,